With DesignX's Live Transfer tool, users can easily translate models from DesignX into a variety of native CAD formats, such as SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, and more. This allows for a more seamless integration of 3D scan-based reverse engineering projects into existing CAD workflows. Through the Live Transfer tool, models are able to maintain parametric functionality after being exported out of DesignX, ensuring that you get the most out of your reverse engineering projects. In order to translate this model into a SOLIDWORKS file, users can launch the Live Transfer tool. Once initiated, the tool opens a new part file in SOLIDWORKS and begins rebuilding the model from the start of the feature tree in DesignX. As with all automatic software processes, users may occasionally encounter transfer issues requiring manual correction. These issues are commonly due to the slight variations in the methods that different CAD programs use to build identical geometry. Thankfully, DesignX has users covered in these cases through several intelligent tools designed to prevent, reduce, and help correct these issues. In this model, there's an issue with this circular pattern feature preventing it from successfully rebuilding in SOLIDWORKS. Re-examining the model in DesignX shows that the program has paused the transfer and rolled back the timeline to the feature in question. DesignX gives us a specific prompt on feature completion. The reference geometry used for this axis of revolution, a cylindrical face, is different from the reference used by SOLIDWORKS, a circular edge or reference vector. The parametric feature tree enables a simple correction to be made and live transfer can continue on where it left off. The SOLIDWORKS model was successfully corrected and the feature transfers without issue. Processing continues to completion and the model is now rebuilt in the native SOLIDWORKS format with the same parametric feature tree as in DesignX. The live transfer tool makes it easier than ever for users to integrate Geomagic DesignX into their existing CAD workflows. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.